Good afternoon, everybody. With the loss of natural bees, who cares? We have robo bees to pollinate our crops now. Earth's crust across the planet seems to be pulling and expanding water geyser again in Spain. So massive shock waves seen and registered offshore. New research, humans cause more strong hurricanes. Although the hurricane landfalls are decreasing over time. Please remember to subscribe to Adapt 2030. As I had reported in a previous video, bumblebees are now on the endangered species list. Colony collapse disorder from all the spraying of neonicotinoids. And Hawaii has now seven bees listed on the endangered species list. But not to worry because now we have robo bees. These are autonomous robots that are going to do the pollination for us. Now these autonomous flying micro bees are engineered to mimic insect behavior and also the five billion dollar a year service that nature does for us for free to pollinate our crops is going to be taken over by these robo bees and you know what that cost will be passed on to you the consumer through the agro business. We only need follow the money external funding for the robo bees project provided entirely by the National Science Foundation. Approximate size and look of these mini robots that are now going to take over where nature has left off. So the continuation of pesticides known to kill bee colonies will continue in our fields. And these robo bees shall be the solution which you will be charged for. There will be no change in the status quo operation in the agro business because there's a solution even if all the bees die. And I continually talk about you needing to grow your own food during the grand solar minimum. Here's some amazing solutions of people that have turned their houses and their yards right into grow areas that have enough food to supplement the families living in that house. I linked the article below so you can take a look how people are actually growing vines, different types of root vegetables, flowers for tea, flowers to make tinctures for antibiotics, all types of different things run down in the article. Great place to start for those of you who are wondering how you can create your own home garden. And with the grand solar minimum, through every grand solar minimum, as our magnetosphere decreases, our Earth's crust starts to behave a little strangely in an expansion form, pulling, pushing, increase in volcanism, increase in earthquakes. So the first signs you would look for are something just like this, where water mains start to actually pull apart and break. Here we go, incredible 60-foot geyser in Spain. So much pressure when that got pulled apart in the crust that it, the shock wave went out and was measured in the sea. I did not find an actual circumference or diameter measurement on this water main here, but a quick Google search for the event and I started to see water main after water main after water main across the planet. Europe, United States, Africa, Asia, almost a million listings on water main breaks. Pretty interesting how forecasting for this event to happen and now it's right here in front of our eyes. It's happening right now. Mini tsunami caused by the 60 foot geyser. Some other images here. Shock wave out to sea. New headline out, scientists cringe as Democrats now push the claim that all hurricanes are caused by mankind. But they seem to forget that hurricanes have been around for millions of years on this planet. New research finds human causing more strong hurricanes, but then right in the very first paragraph it says, it's often difficult to pin it down the exact effect that we have on the hurricanes. U.S. hurricane landfalls showing a downtrend. And then another headline from Natural News, scientists cringe as Hillary claims hurricanes are caused by people. And back to the Think Progress article, perhaps there's more precipitation in the storms. They don't even know. This is just hearsay that they're throwing out as headlines. And it's all caused because higher sea surface and subsurface ocean temperatures. Let's jump over to tropical tidbits. I love how in the North Pole, it's so red up there that you think it's frying and everything's melting. Yet when we look over on Null School, the temperature is minus 9.3 C. 
And back to the temperature map, I want you to look down in Antarctica at the very bottom of that graphic. There's nothing there. They don't have the temperatures. Gee, I wonder why. Oh, it's minus 55 degrees Celsius. How carefully the IPCC and NOAA delete this data out because if it shows minus 55 C, that's going to pull those temperatures right back into the normal range. And if you look at this month's September lower tropospheric temperatures, we're only at four tenths of a degree above baseline. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. Take a moment to visit getthetea.com. Full range of detox to keep your body healthy during the upcoming grand solar minimum. As with the last grand minimums, nutrition and the immune system were a great factor in the reason people got sick. Please remember to subscribe to Adapt 2030 and I'll keep more stories like these coming to you.